So we're continuing our discussion about um, dihedral angles now in the context of polypeptide chain. And so I started by drawing out a, a connection between alpha carbons and, and their side chains connected by peptide linkages. Uh, this is some general amino acid residue. Here we have valine and then a, a, a second peptide linkage connected to a third general, more general amino acid with, a, with an R, R group. Uh, the two peptide bonds are drawn in the alternate um, resonance forms, and this is because of peptide bond resonance. We we know that the peptide bond is um, planar, and as drawn here, usually in the trans configuration, and rotation about the the, um, the peptide linkage, we call that um, that that's given the name uh, o omega. So we we know that omega usually takes on values of. 180 degrees, meaning the uh, the trans conformation. Um, sometimes you'll see cis peptide linkages, especially next to proline residues. Um, but for all other residues, uh, the trans is by far more energetically favorable. The other, the, the second dihedral angle is this rotation about the amide nitrogen alpha carbon bond, and it's uh, called phi. And then the bond connecting the alpha carbon and the carbonyl group, that is called psi. So we can draw in here phi and psi. And to help illustrate uh, the values of phi and psi, I, I, I've got here a model of the, the same polypeptide segment that we were looking at. And uh, we have here all of the peptide bonds I've drawn with the, the the double bond linking the carbonyl carbon and amide nitrogen, just to emphasize the fact that they are flat, and in both cases um, they are in the trans con con configuration. If we look down the bond connecting the amide nitrogen and the alpha carbon, then we are now examining values of phi as we rotate. Well, we'll start here with the carbonyl, and we're the angle is defined by the, the, the angle subtended between the carbonyl groups uh, ahead of uh, and behind uh, this, uh, this bond connecting the amide nitrogen and the al alpha carbon. So at values of, uh, for phi of zero, we see collision between the carbonyl groups. And for positive values of phi, we see uh, it, that it's very likely for the carbonyl group um, uh, here in the front to collide with the side chain in the back. So that for this reason, we see for most amino acids negative values of uh, phi. Now, glycine with its very small amino acid side chain that can adopt uh, positive values of phi. But for all the other um, amino acid residues, it's just a whole lot more room for this carbonyl group uh, if we adopt uh, 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 negative values of phi. Moving on to the next dihedral angle, we're going to be looking from the alpha carbon to the carbonyl carbon, and we will define the dihedral angle based on the relationship of the two amide nitrogens. And here, uh, this is a negative value of psi, and if we rotate around this bond, we'll see uh, a positive value for psi. And psi can adopt both positive and negative values, but it avoids um, uh, it avoids certain values uh, corresponding with uh, positive sixty positive sixty degrees. And the reason is that the carbonyl carbon and and this um, side chain are now eclipsed with each other at positive sixty degrees. And the same thing is happening at minus twenty degrees uh, because the amide nitrogen and the and the side chain of, of the amino acid are eclipsed with each other. So there's more uh, re a, a larger degree of values adopted for psi, but we avoid um, uh, certain values. And it's, uh, it's these, this avoidance of uh, collision between groups that then explains why certain values of phi and psi are al in so-called allowed regions in, in the green zones, and all the other um, areas of the Ramachandran plot are um, 
are avoided because of these hysteric, hysteric collisions. And uh, this has really important implications for understanding uh, uh, the balance of energies for, for protein folding. So we can draw in our uh, concept map for protein folding. We have the unfolded state and the folded state. And we, we know that chain entropy is, uh, favors the unfolded form of uh, the, the polypeptide. And the, the, the restrictions on omega imposed by peptide bond resonance, uh, that severely limits um, this chain entropy and therefore makes folding more likely to happen. And then the other strong opposing, the, the other thing that uh, mitigates chain entropy is this idea of steric, steric exclusion such that phi and psi only ad adopt certain combinations as uh, illustrated by the Ramachandran, Ramachandran plot.